Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about Chapter 7. So there are two types of bankruptcy, generally speaking, in New York. Uh, there is still two, Chapter 7 and Chapter 13. Chapter 7 is, hey, we owe all these people money, we don't want to pay them, we're going to sell our assets and then wipe all the debt out. So even though our assets cannot cover the debt, we have to liquidate, it's called liquidation. Um, and then chapter 13 is debt adjustment, which they didn't file, so I'm not going to speak about that. But chapter 13 is far more interesting than chapter 7. Chapter 7 is we just don't want to pay our bills. So we're going to hire a lawyer to not pay our bills. Uh, we owe a lot of people money, including players and customers money on pre-orders and winnings. And we just simply don't want to pay these people. You know, we would rather ha drive our Lamborghinis off to the sunset than pay a single person. And I think that's um, pretty, you know, you, you got you got to look at it from ethically, from a business standpoint. You got to pay people who you owe. That's business 101, right? If you agree to a contract, you should fulfill the contract. So Meta's view at this point in time is saying that we we did all these contracts, we all have all these vendors from various from our website provider to our game developer to our merchandise guy, and we ain't going to pay none of them. Instead, we're going to spend the little money that we have to hire a lawyer, and that lawyer is going to make sure that we're scot free, and we run this company up again. That's the company that you're hoping is successful, okay? The Mike Waddell and the Shaw company which has already proven unreliable. And again, let me just be frank here. I would never do business with a bankrupt company because by definition, they know how to do bankruptcy, which means they have not paid people before. So MetaZoo is just a absolute, you know, it, it doesn't, it rubs me the wrong way. It, it simply does, right? So let's talk about the bankruptcy of the Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Chapter 7 bankruptcy of a business involves a liquidation and should be viewed as a last resort when all other reasonable and realistic alternatives to Chapter 7 have been explored and exhausted. Alternatives to Chapter 7 for business may include obtaining a new source of debt financing or capital investment, sales of assets or sale of business in whole or in part. And this is the kind of the interesting part. If I make an offer in the business and they don't accept it, the court might make them accept it. That way, the investor, that the debtors do get paid, and I might actually just put out an offer. I need to see their how bad it is. Um, but I'm I have serious interest in buying this IP just to hold. I have, and I have money to do it. Um, even my play bank account is at six hundred thousand now. Would I sell my magic collection to do it? No. <laughs> I would just use the extra money I have in my bank account. 600 k So that should be enough to buy this. I think they were trying to sell originally for 200 k If none of these alternatives are viable, management or owners of a business may want to file a Chapter 7 liquidation for a financially troubled business. If a business is insolvent or in the zone of insolvency, there is a developing body of case law. This is New York, by the way, which they're doing. That holds the management no longer has a duty to the owners, shareholders, or equitable equity holders of the business. But rather, I'm going to contact the um, trustee sometime next week. But rather to the creditors. So essentially, what they're saying is it does not give a damn what the owners want. It is what the creditors want. And obviously the creditors want money. So if there is an offer on the table which gives the creditors a good chunk of money back, they will be forced to accept it even if it means new ownership. Management can ensure that creditors' claims are dealt with in a single unified proceeding and debtors' assets are not stripped apart by different creditors pursuing their individual legal remedies such as judgment enforcement. So what actually happened to MetaZoo now? Um, they create an automatic stay, which basically bars all creditor collection activity. So if you owe money, so that uh, pallets of skateboards and the thing, that is paused for the moment being until uh, they figured this out. 
when a business files Chapter 7 bankruptcy, an interim trustee is appointed, and we have the trustee actually here. The interim trustee becomes the permanent trustee until a different trustee is elected by the creditors. So the trustee is not actually the owners. It's not Mike Waddell and Shaw and Aoki or whatever, like uh, Pokemon King, whoever. Like what We are going to find very soon who actually owns this shit and how much of it do they own because um, that is all public and all their names. And, and this is why you never want to be part of a company you don't really understand because if it does file for bankruptcy, it's your name. Um, and trust me, these companies are very, I mean, it's, it's very dangerous to be involved in a bankruptcy from a reputational standpoint. Now you can recover. There are obviously examples of this, but it's much more difficult to get credit. Uh, the bankruptcy code gives the trustee the ability to recover certain pre-bankruptcy transfers of debtors as preferential or fraudulent transfers. Now, one thing that may be fraudulent, and I'm just throwing this out there, was Mike Wardell and Bailey, they were selling uh, original artwork to fund the lawyer. That would might fall under pre-bankruptcy transfers, right? At that point in time, they hadn't filed for bankruptcy. So they were trying to sell these artworks for as much money so they can hire a lawyer. Now, the lawyer has to be paid, of course, right? But it's quite fascinating what is actually um, occurring here. It's um, interesting that this is continuing to happen time and time again, that you have an individual and they are trying to get back their company, but they, it's no longer their company. And uh, this is great news. This would be highly educational for Alpha Investments to talk about. Bankruptcy proceedings. And he knows about this because he, he, how he made his money, if you remember, is he invested a lot of it in the bonds of Carnival Cruise Lines or the cruise lines that were suffering at the 2008. So when something goes bankrupt, it might be an opportunity in many aspects to buy something very, very cheap that may have longer term value. Now, I don't know how much value Meadow Zoo has long term, but it does seem to have a fan base. I just can't imagine that you would want Mike Wardell or Shaw or Andy. I, I can't imagine Steve Aoki. I, I think you got to clear the decks and then just buy them out. And this is the beauty of it. Even if the owners don't want to get the buyout, but the creditors and trustee, that the, again, the creditors choose the trustee. They want the buyout, they have to sell it. They have no choice, right? They have to sell the company for as much money as they can get. And at this point in time, you know, it's not your company. It's the creditor's company. So that's chapter seven. Now, interesting that Alpha Investment has not made a MetaZoo video, even though he's made multiple Pokemon videos. He's made multiple uh, magic videos saying everything's going to bull market. He's used the term bull a ton recently. And um, he is not um, talking about this, which would actually be very educational for his subscribers, I assume. Anyway, guys. <laughs>